I want to remove this shifter ball with this big pair of channel locks. So what I got is this big piece of rubber to put in between there so I don't scratch up the ball. I had to kill the audio in this short clip because I forgot the radio was playing in the background. Alright, I'm going to start putting stuff back together. Now, I expect to be able to screw in every fastener by hand without it binding in the hole. So I'm going to run a tap through every threaded hole. And I'm going to clean every bolt on the wire brush. And if that don't work good enough, I can run a die over every bolt. So the threads are nice and clean and usable on every one.
This one hole here is partly stripped out. So what I'm going to do is use this bottoming tap and that puts threads all the way to the bottom of your blind hole. And then I'm going to use this longer bolt. So I'll try that. If that don't work, I may have to put a thread insert in there. I got the front of this frame blocked up here so that it's held in line with the transmission so I can bolt them together. Hold on, I gotta have this clutch pulley in the right place because you can't fix it once you get it bolted together. You'd have to take it back apart.
wait a minute, I see a problem. That set screw's busted off there in the shifter. So I can't put this together yet. Alright, take it back apart. What I'm going to do here is put a screwdriver slot in that and try to screw it out. Somewhere in this big selection of screwdriver bits, I should be able to find something that fits that slot pretty well. So I can tell that the threads on the inside of this screw have been deformed by the shifter ball and now they don't want to come back through the threaded hole because I can turn this in until it bottoms out into the shifter ball and I can turn it back out until it touches the threaded portion so what I got to do here is basically force this screw back through the threaded portion far enough till I can get the shifter to come out. Then I take the screw back towards the inside so I don't tear up any more threads than necessary. I'm going to try grinding this slot bigger so I can use a bigger bit. I don't like the ratcheting screwdriver for this because you got to go back and forth all the time. So I got me a regular screwdriver that fits the slot good. And I'll use that. So the screw is disengaged, but the shifter don't come out, and I think it's because I got it in gear here. So I'm going to turn the screw in so I can put it in neutral, and then turn the screw back out so I can get the shifter out. I need a smaller screwdriver bit to fit down in the hole here. Mm. 
and I got a magnet just in case I need it to get the screw out. Alright. Didn't need the magnet. Had a good hold on it. So I got a new full dog set screw. It's got the protrusion on the end that engages with the shifter. And I got a lock nut here. Put it back the way it's supposed to be. The proper adjustment on this is to give it as much engagement as you can without restricting the movement of the shifter. So I'm moving the shifter forward and back so that I can feel when it binds up. And remember when you tighten the nut it's going to change the position of the screw. So you have to change it a little, tighten the nut, and check it until you get it to a position where the screw's in as far as you can get it without binding and the nut's tight. One thing I forgot to point out on this tractor, the way these frames were made from 1961 until 1964, most of them are cracked, and this one is not cracked. In 1965, they put a strengthening rib in that flat part of the frame right there to help prevent the cracking from the flexing, since that's just a flat plate. This one has no cracks, which means it was not put under a very much stress in its life. So that's good. I didn't have to repair that. If this one was cracked, you'd see cracks coming down below each of these bottom bolts and below each of the top bolts. In fact, sometimes they would connect the top and bottom bolt and be cracked all the way down there. Well, that's as far as I'm going this time, and that's what it looks like. It's officially on the way back together. Alright, that's it.